Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the pile that is laying out in front of me, it is time for another small decluttering series. I tend to do declutters once a year. I normally try and do them at the beginning of the year, um, just so that as new releases come out and I'm picking up new things, although I didn't actually pick up a lot of new stuff last year, but as it happens, I have space in my drawers. So for this declutter, I decided to kind of go with what I will affectionately refer to as the ELF method. So I'm going to be putting up three videos. One will be eye products, one will be lip products, and this first one will be face products. So for this video, it will be primers, concealers, foundations, blushes, highlighters, bronzers, setting sprays, and miscellaneous tools and brushes. Um, so I've got all of that out on the floor in front of us. I'm going to try and be cutthroat, but to be honest, I don't have as much makeup as I've had in the past, so we'll see how we go. I've already pulled everything out of the drawers, but I sort of just like splattered it on the floor in front of me. So what I'm gonna do, and so you guys get a little bit of that ambient click clacking noise, is I'm gonna pull everything aside and we're gonna go through it section by section and let's get started. So I know it doesn't look any more organized than it was a second ago, but I'm hoping that this is going to be okay and that the angle is pretty good uh, for me to show you guys products because I did try and film parts of this before and I was just really struggling with the angle. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with sort of tools um, first because I think that that's going to be a really easy section to get through. The way that I'm going to be laying this out in terms of what I'm doing with the products I'm getting rid of is if it's completely unused, untouched, I will put it in a pile to do a giveaway for you guys. If it is just swatched, um, I probably will still give it to friends and family because I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable getting something that's had my fingers in it. So anything that is uh, touched or used at all will be going to friends and family. And then anything that is expired or no longer performs as it's supposed to will go in the garbage. So starting out with tools, I have got two eyelash curlers here. So one, the blue pair are my Tweezerman eyelash curlers and they came with the extra little um, like silicone-y things that go into them. Here's my one problem is I'm having a hard time getting my camera to focus. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is move everything out of the background. Sorry about that. I just knocked my camera a little bit. Uh, if I move everything out of the background, then I think it might focus on things better. So there we go. Um, so like I said, I only really need one eyelash curler and I prefer the Tweezerman one to the e.l.f. one. So I am going to give this away. I've never used it. It's brand new. So that can go into my giveaway drawer and I will keep that one. I've got a ton of beauty sponges, both used and uh, unused, brand new etc uh, etc et I'm missing no I'm not it's in my lap so these are these here so I do have several um, what is it focusing on now is that it okay so I do have several like actual beauty blender brand ones uh, and then I've got a couple of new ones so this first one here is a Mac one I'm honestly not a big fan of the shape of this so I'm going to be giving that one away these ones I just got in a boxy charm and I do like the look of the texture of them and so I'm going to try them out and see if I like them and if I don't then at least I'll still have one completely unused one that I can give away uh, otherwise I'll always have spares so I'm going to hold on to those. And then I've got these here. So these three are all Beauty Blender branded ones. Um, I'm going to hold on to these. Some of them have been used. I think I've used maybe all three to be honest definitely the green one and the pink one have been used in the past so i'm going to keep all of these this one however is an elf one it came in my advent calendar while it is an interesting shape and i like the fact that they've got like a little indentation here for your finger i just don't need another one so i'm going to be giving that one away as well i also have this little like just tin it came uh, as the top of a container for a mac like collection a long time ago 
Uh, I'm going to keep this. I use it to put my foundation in kind of like a palette. And then I have this Kabuki brush. I have never used this. It's kind of small. Um, so I'm going to give this away as well. I do have to go through my brushes in this video. So let's just get that out of the way right now while I'm thinking about it. I don't know how many I'm actually going to get rid of here, but we'll do our best. Um, I'll start in this one. These are more of my most used brushes, to be completely honest, so I don't know what's going to go up here. I have several, several um, foundation brushes, so I've got five of these. I have uh, two MAC ones, an e.l.f. one that I really like, a Too Faced one, and then this just BoxyCharm brand one that I really like, so I'm going to be keeping all five of those. I did have another MAC one um, that actually fell apart on me. I couldn't believe it, so I'm debating whether I'm going to replace that one because if it broke, like what are the chances it doesn't break again? This is my favorite highlighter brush. It is a Natasha Denona highlighter brush and it is freaking fantastic. It was really expensive, but I just love it so, so much. This is my favorite bronzing brush. This is the Too Faced Mr. Right powder brush, perfect powder brush. Again, a really, really nice brush. I have this MAC, what I affectionately refer to as my rabbit's foot brush, because it looks like those little rabbit feet keychains that you used to get. It is a 137 brush. I'm going to keep that one. Um, these are my two favorite. Um, I'm trying to get you guys like in a better spot where I can actually show you brushes. These are my two favorite blush brushes. Um, I have a ColourPop blush brush. It's like an angled one. And then I have my MAC uh looks like it once said 168 brush i'm just trying to get things out of the way so again my camera will focus um but i love this brush it is the one i use all of the time for my blush so i'm going to be hanging on to that as well i have a couple other just like random face brushes here so this one i like to use for all over the face powders uh, iridescent powders, whatnot. This one I like to use when I put too much bronzer on or I'm trying to lighten up my face. It's really good at buffing out. And then I have these two, which are good for contouring. They have a really good contour shape. I don't contour often, but when I do, it's nice to have some brushes for that purpose. I've got this Laura Mercier like poof that came with um, one of the translucent setting powders. I'm not going to use this and it's brand new. Somebody else might like to have it. So give that away. This is my less used, um, kind of makeup brushes. I don't use these ones as much, so I might get rid of some stuff in here. I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. I've got this gigantic, like buffing brush. Again, this one is from BoxyCharm. Would you freaking focus? There we go. So it's just a larger version of the other one I have. I do like this. I don't use it quite as much because it is so large, but it's really good for covering a large area very quickly. Uh, this is my Natasha Denona like body. I'll call I know body bling is not the brand of Natasha Denona's. I think it's all over glow. So this is my all over glow brush. I really like this one as well. Same for this Natasha Denona brush. It's just a really compact, flat topped brush. These brushes are really, really good for like cream blushes and cream bronzers um, because they allow you to pick up the product without it getting lost deep in the bristles. For that same reason, I have got a mini one uh, as well that I really like. Now I have this troll one and I think I've been keeping it just because it says trolls on it and it was a limited edition uh, brush, but to be honest, I never use it. I'm going to give that one away. Then I've got this little one. This is like a paintbrush. It was like the one that I used to love to use way, way, way back in the day. I haven't used it in a long time, but it's still a really cool brush to have. Uh, and it's a very unique brush, so I think I'm going to keep this one. I have a MAC fan brush that I'm going to be keeping. I have, this was my OG, like, um, a foundation brush from MAC. It's kind of sentimental, so I'm going to keep that, as stupid as that sounds. I never really use this brush, this 125SE brush. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Um, it's got a cool shape, I just never use it. It would be really good for contour bronzer, though. Screw it, I'm keeping it. I don't care. 
I've got a ton of these like 140, 143 brushes, so I'm going to keep the one that I know I've used and I'm going to give away this one because I don't think I've used it yet. Mind you, I do have a ton of those because they come out in every Christmas collection. And then I have this giant powder foundation brush. This is the 140S brush. Actually, this might be the same as this. No, this is a 143 and this is a 140 and then this was also a 140. So I'm going to keep the large one that I've used and get rid of that small one that I had already gotten rid of. So that is my face brushes gone through. I'm just going to pick through my eyeshadow brushes really quickly and just show you guys what I'm getting rid of. Um, just to make it go a little bit faster. All right, not a lot to be gotten rid of here. Just some odds and ends of brushes that I either don't like the shape of or I've got several of, such as the angled brush. I've got like three other angled brushes. The lip brushes I just don't use and I do have a very small like travel size MAC lip brush that is enough for me if I do need one. Although the only thing I used to use it for was a MAC lipstick palette that I no longer have. So I'm going to be giving away these brushes as well. So that's my brushes gone through. I do have a couple other tools here that I sort of just forgot and I'm going to be keeping all three. So I've got my Urban Decay Grindhouse pencil sharpener. I've got my Sephora brush switch and then I've also got these Moxie Lash tweezers that are sort of for putting on fake eyelashes. Not that I do it often, but I've got a pair of those as well. Next up, I thought I'd go through just some sort of one-off products. Um, so here we're talking like eye masks, moisturizers. I found another tool. These are my favorite tweezers. They actually used to have a light in them, but it's since died. Things like that. So I'm going to go through this stuff next, um, just because I think it will be a good way to go through a lot really quickly. First thing is I have this refresh and reset from Glow on Fifth Beauty uh, brightening mud mask. I'm going to give this away. It's still completely sealed. I just don't really use masks anymore. I finally got a skincare routine down that works really well for me. The only masks I use are sleeping masks. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I just recently unboxed this in a boxy charm. This is this Algenis triple a triple algae eye renewal balm. I'm going to give this to my mom because I do have a ton of eye bombs and retinols and things like that. So I'm going to give this to her to try out. Speaking of eye masks, I've got a couple others here. So I have this pharmacy cheer up cherry one. Uh, I really, really like this one. I keep it in my bathroom. So I'm going to keep that one. I also have this Dr. Brandt triple antioxidant one because I have so many. I haven't used this yet. So it doesn't have a seal on it. I just checked, but it is brand new. I've never used it. So I'm going to put it in a pile for my giveaway. And then whenever I do the giveaway, um, which I know I've been talking about for forever, but I'm actually going to do one now. Um, whenever I do that, I'll just ask whoever wins it if they are comfortable with receiving this or not. Um, I've got this Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Retinol. I'm pretty sure that this was just a sample that I got at some point or another, so I am going to keep this and try it out. The retinol is really, really good for blackheads uh, as well, even though it's not necessarily marketed for that. I thought I had another eye cream here. Oh, I do. Okay, so this is this MAC Lightful C Vibrancy Eye Cream. To be honest, it's almost used up, so I'm going to use this up uh, and then probably not repurchase it. And I also have this Lightful C uh, Coral Grass Softening Lotion Spray. This is really, really good. A really nice moisturizer. Realistically, I should probably move this into my bathroom because it doesn't get as much use in my makeup drawer as it should, but I'm going to keep that as well. Just trying to kind of put everything away as I go here so that it's not a disastrous mess when I do try. Um, I got these two bomb, not bombs, masks from the body shop in my advent calendar that I opened up recently. One is a fresh plumping mask and one is a purifying glow mask. I'm going to give away both of these. Like I said, I don't really use masks that much anymore, so they can both go. I'm also going to get rid of this uh, gentle peeling exfoliant from e.l.f. Uh, again, I'm not going to be using it. And also from e.l.f. we got a holy hydration face cream, which is just like a moisturizer and we got a makeup melting cleansing balm. I've got a few of these makeup melting cleansing bombs, including one from pharmacy that is the cherry one. So I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to keep the, um, like moisturizer because I actually do like it. It is very, very nice. So I'm going to hold on to that. 
Uh, speaking of like nighttime masks, I was gifted this as part of a birthday gift. So it is the Laneige Water Bank Moisturizing Cream, which is fantastic. And then I also have this water sleeping mask. So I'm going to hold on to both of these. But I had at one point a smaller version of the Laneige lip mask. Um, so I'm going to be keeping this full size one because I do really like it. And if and when I find the mini one, which is probably sitting like right in front of my face, um, we will be giving that one away because I don't need two. I genuinely have no idea where it is. It's quite possible it, it snuck into another drawer at some point. Um, that seems fully likely knowing me. I've got three other, oh, four other moisturizers here. So we're going to go through those quickly. First off, I have the two Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizers. I have one in Sun Glow and one in Nude Glow. Um, the Nude Glow is more the one for me, to be honest, but I have the Sun Glow for when I have a tan. I love this. It's the perfect just throw on your face every day kind of product. You definitely can wear it under makeup, but you certainly don't need to. So I'm going to be keeping both of these. I also have the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I'm into right now, so I'm going to hold on to that. And then I have this Tarte Wink of H2O uh, Moisturizer, and I really enjoy this as well, so hold on to that. Here's another one of those makeup cleansing bombs I was talking about. Now, apparently this one is also super moisturizing. I finally looked it up on the Body Shop's website, so I'm going to hold on to this product. I have these Generation Skin Eye Masks. I keep going through phases of if I'm going to use them or not. As of right now, I have not used them, but I'm thinking I might sort of use them in the month leading up to my wedding because there are 30 pairs. So I think if I don't remember, I don't open them by then, then I will be giving them away. But if not, then they will get used up. Just a few other things. I have this random Blistex lip balm here. I'm going to be holding on to that. It should really even be in this drawer. I have this insert name here. Um, this is like this fly away wispy hairs mascara. I keep this in my purse most of the time, but it did find its way back into my other drawers. I've got a duo lash glue. Again, probably should be in my eye drawer, but it lives up here. And then I have these snap white uh, teeth whitening pens that I picked up from BoxyCharm, so I'm going to hold on to these as well. Next up, we're going to quickly go through some primers. First off, I have these four here. Now, these are all brand new seals still intact, so they live in a separate drawer, sort of a save for later drawer until I can get to them because I don't want to have all this open makeup that's not getting used in um, like what I believe is an acceptable amount of time. So I have this First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer that we're going to keep. And then I have these three Laura Mercier ones. So I have a blurring, a hydrating, and an illuminating. Like I said, none of these have been used and they've got crap all over them from like eyeliner pencils opening up. So I'm going to hold on to all of these. They're just going to live in a separate drawer um, from the rest of my stuff. So this is the primers that I do have. I kind of moved the camera again, so I lost where the frame was. But I'm just going to go through this really, really quickly. Uh, I can't imagine we're going to get rid of much out of here, but let's see. So I have four of the, well, I guess really seven of these like pore perfecting primers, like the filler primers. So I have the e.l.f. Original Putty Primer, which I actually really, really enjoy. Um, I have gotten some pretty decent use out of it since I've gotten it. And since I have this full-size one, which I am going to be keeping, I'm going to be giving away this set of like the mini trio because I just don't see myself getting through all of them. So the little one comes with the original, a matte, and a luminous one. Um, this probably came as like a free gift with purchase, but I will be giving that away. And then I think I'm going to keep my other three. So I have the Tarte, um, what is this called? Smoothing Primer, Timeless Smoothing Primer. I really, really like that. And then I have these two Tasha, the Silk Canvas ones. So I have this mini liquid one that I got as a sample from Sephora. It's probably almost used up. So... Once that gets used up, I would consider purchasing a full-size one because it is really good, but it's also really expensive. And then I have this mini, the Silk Canvas, which honestly, if you're looking to purchase this, unless you're going to be using it a ton every single day, the mini one has lasted me a very long time. So I think you could be okay with just the mini one. I have my Peter Thomas Roth um, Water Drench Cloud Moisturizer. I love this. I talked about it in my favorites video. Going to be keeping this. I have 
have this cover girl cover girl cover girl uh moisturizing primer to be honest i've had this for years and it keeps making it through declutters and going into a like use it or lose it pile and then i don't use it and then every time i do use it it kind of has the similar effect to if you put like glue on your skin and then rubbed at your skin and it would almost like peel off in beads it does that which is not cute at all when you've got makeup over top so i'm just going to throw this out it's definitely expired it was only supposed to be good for 18 months and i've had this for a couple of years so i'm going to get rid of that i have this cover effects gripping primer and i used to love this um, but to be honest, I haven't used it in a really long time. I've more grown attached to moisturizing primers and glow primers. So I think I'm going to give this away. Speaking of hydrating primers, I've got three here. So I have my Becca First Light Priming Filter, which I love and adore this. And I'm really happy that Smashbox, I believe it was Smashbox, bought Becca. So we will still be getting Becca products just under another umbrella. I have the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. This one's fantastic. It's kind of like a water gel primer. And then I have the Tarte Hydrating Primer Base Tape. I'm honestly not 100% sure how I feel about this yet. It is really nice. The smell kind of irritates me a little bit. Um, so I'm going to keep playing around with this for now and see if I continue to enjoy it. Then I have just three other primers. So I have two that I would kind of consider glowy primers. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer, which I'm going to keep. And I've also got the Rare Beauty Primer. This is sort of like an all-in-one primer. It's moisturizing, it's blurring, and it's glowy. Um, and I always enjoy the, pro the products where like the pump, it pumps up from the bottom. I can't think of what those are called. So you make sure you actually get to use up all this product. This is actually just a mini size, but I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna keep that. And then I have this Touch in Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer. This primer is unlike anything I've ever used before. It's got the coolest texture. It almost feels like silicone, but I don't know. I just love it so much. Um, I think I have to wait till I get down, but I think that the packaging is a lot for something that's really only this big. Like there's an extra inch probably across the whole diameter um, of no product just to make it look cool and it is super heavy but it is a really really nice primer so I'm going to keep that as well. Next let's talk setting sprays um, just because they're sitting in front of my face right now I'll just kind of drag them all in. Again I don't need this many setting sprays but I do enjoy setting sprays uh, which is like a weird thing to like so Let's get through this quickly. First, let's talk about my MAC setting sprays. I have four of the full size ones and then I have a mini one. So I've got one, uh, here it is, regular Fix Plus. This is in the coconut scent. Mine just so happens to be in Fruity Juicy packaging because that is the collection that I purchased it in. And I also have a coconut uh, mini one and I just refill the mini from the large one for travel. So I'm going to be keeping both of those. I've got three of the, um, we'll call them the Fix Plus lights. So I have pink light, gold light, and bronze light. I'm going to be keeping all three of these. And since I'm keeping this bronze light one, I am going to be getting rid of this e.l.f. Um, Retro Paradise Glow Up Body Oil. I know that they're different, but realistically, like I could spray the MAC one all over my body and it would do a similar thing to this one. And this is still sealed. So I can give this away to you guys, which is nice. Um, I've got a couple smaller ones here. So the Cover Effects Dewy Setting Spray, I've almost completely used up, so I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep this mini all-nighter setting spray. I am going to give up the e.l.f. setting spray. I've used it a few times, and it is nice. I just don't need another setting spray. Then I've got these four. So this first one is not a setting spray. It's actually thermal water. I'm going to hold on to this. This is really, really good for if you like have a sunburn or you have like a uh, irritation on your skin from maybe a product you're having an allergic reaction to. This has saved my life time and time again. Um, oh, I found two more that were hiding underneath my knee. I've got this Tarte uh, setting spray. This is their stay spray. I actually adore this. I love the spray pattern. And a lot of setting sprays have like a bad smell or a bad taste to them. This is actually okay. Not that you should be eating your setting spray, but you know, it happens. I've got the Rare Beauty setting spray. I can't remember how I feel about this. I feel like it's got a good spray pattern, but a disgusting taste and smell. Um, I'm going to keep trying it for a little bit longer. And if I don't find myself reaching for it, I will get rid of it then. And then I've got my Glam Glow Glow Setter. This is probably my favorite setting spray in terms of scent. It just smells so good. It smells kind of like 
citrusy and chocolatey at the same time, like a Chip Terry's chocolate orange. Uh, really, really good setting spray. Then I have these two brand new setting sprays that I haven't gotten into yet. Now the KVD Beauty one, Locket one, I've had for a long time, but it is one of my favorites. It smells like cucumber. I'm keeping this one. However, I think I'm going to get rid of the uh, ABH Dewy set. Not that it's not pretty and that I'm sure it's not great, but I can't imagine getting through all the setting sprays I have and getting to this one as well. So I'm going to give this away while it's still brand new. Next up, we're going to get through concealers really quickly. I don't have all that much concealer, if I'm completely honest with you guys. Um, so I don't know how much is really going to go here, but we shall see. Uh, so first things first, I have two cream concealers. I've got my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla, which I love. And then I also have this MAC Concealer in NW20. This is their Studio Fix Concealer. This is a super, super heavy-duty concealer. Um, but it is really good, so I'm going to hold on to both of these. I don't use this one very often, but uh, I'm having a bad week right now for breakouts. I sort of let my diet go pretty bad over the holiday season, and whenever I go on to my time of the month, um, my hormones go into overdrive, and I just break out all over my chin, so I had a particularly bad breakout this month, so this is the kind of thing I would use for times like these. Um... I'm definitely going to be keeping both my MAC Pro Longwear concealers. I've got a darker shade and a lighter shade. Uh, the dark shade is good for all over the face and for when I have more of a tan. The lighter shade is good for everything else. So these are in NW15 and NW20 in case you guys are curious about that. I've got two of these NARS uh, Creamy Radiant or Radiant Creamy concealers. Again, I have a dark shade and a light shade. I have the shade uh light 2 vanilla and light 2.5 creme brulee the vanilla shade is honestly a better shade for me in terms of brightening effect but the creme brulee again does work for an all over the face one um if you are ever in doubt about what color you should get you definitely don't need to have two of the same concealers uh it is a little bit unnecessary i just find that it works well for me but if you're gonna do one or the other i would always recommend getting the lighter shade because you can always darken it up with a foundation or a bronzer over top or something like that i've got a whole bunch of one-off concealers so the first one that I have, the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this concealer. The shade is really nice for me. I got the shade Fair, so 10 and Fair. Um, I just don't find it creaseless, to be completely honest. It is a very thick formula, which is not for me. It's hard to blend out. And you would think that a darker, or not a darker, a thicker formula would make it crease more. Um, so I'm going to be giving this away. It's still relatively unused, but I have used it a bit. My get rid of pile is not looking great right now, but that could also be because everything that I have new is just going straight into a drawer for you guys. So I've got my Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This is super expensive, but a fantastic concealer. I'm holding on to that. Um, I was actually really surprised by the Flower Beauty uh, Illuminating Concealer. It's the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I love this so, so much. I'm keeping that. I am going to get rid of my Stay Naked Concealer. It's just way too dark. This is in the shade 40NN, and when I had a tan, it kind of worked for me. Um, but I've gotten to the point where I do like more brightening concealers for under my eyes, so this wouldn't even work for that. So I'm going to pass this one on. I've got two of these Maybelline Instant Age Rewinds. Again, a dark shade and a light shade. So I have the shades Fair and Light. I'm going to hold on to both of these. Then I have this old school Urban Decay Stay Naked uh, Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. They don't even make this anymore. They haven't for years. It has separated. It's gone kind of funky on me. Uh, I'm just going to throw it out because there is no way that this is like safe to put on your face, especially anywhere near like your eyes or anything like that. So this is going to go in the garbage. It makes me kind of sad because I did love that concealer at one point, but I mean, what can you do? Um, I've got several setting powders and I think I'm going to be keeping all of them and to be honest I think I have another Huda Beauty one that I decluttered in the past in the shade Pound Cake. I'm probably going to drag it back out of my declutter pile unless I gave it away. If it's still in my house uh, I'm just going to return it to my collection. I have to go through all of my like previously decluttered makeup and see what's even still good anymore but um, yeah if I still have it I'm probably going to keep it because it is a really nice setting powder and 
you know, setting powder doesn't particularly go bad, but so I have this one in cupcake. I also have two Laura Mercier ones. These are both translucent. One is the original translucent. It just has special packaging. And this one is the translucent glow. I love these. It's my favorite setting powder. I've actually been trying not to use this just to give other setting powders like an opportunity to shine. Uh, but this is my favorite. So I'm keeping both of those. I've got the Beauty Bakery flower setting powder. I really like that as well. This is not a setting powder. These are these Guerlain Meteorite drops. They kind of give you like an all over the face shimmer. They are really pretty, but they are super expensive and honestly probably not worth what I paid for them. So, you know, is what it is. And then I have the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Pal Powder. This came in like a Sephora bonus set um, that I went through not long ago because I forgot I had it. Uh, I am going to keep this. I do want to try it out. It's just a mini size. So whether I like it or not, it didn't cost me anything but points. Now let's go through some bronzers. This could take, uh, I don't know how much progress I'm going to make in this area because I do really like all the bronzers I have. Also, I have this little Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I'm just going to keep this because I can't imagine anybody wanting it. Uh, and I don't want to throw it out. I'll use it at some point. Maybe I can like empty that one into my larger one. I don't know. I'll find a way to use it. So this is all of my bronzers, face powders, that sort of thing, uh, powder foundations, what have you. And then I also have like a liquid bronzer and somewhere I've got a stick bronzer. There it is. Okay. So let's start here. Let's start with the liquid bronzer. This is my, my NARS, I'll put it the right way, Laguna liquid bronzer. I love this stuff. I'm holding on to it. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. I hope you can, but if you can't, uh, I'm going to keep it anyway. And I've got this double ended NARS like highlighter bronzer stick. Um, to be honest, like the highlighter is really nothing special. It's kind of weirdly orangey. And but I do really like that bronzer. Do I keep it just for the bronzer? Nah, I don't think so. I think I'm going to give this away. I never really reach for cream bronzer. If I'm going to use it, I use liquid or powder. So I'll get rid of that. Speaking of cream bronzer, I do have the e.l.f. Putty bronzer. I still don't know how I feel about this. I bought it in two shades. So I bought one in tan lines, which is like a warmer shade. Um, and then I bought also a cool tone shade, but since I'm not sure I even really like the product, I'm going to put this unused cool tone shade in a giveaway and I'm going to keep testing this one out and see if I grow to like it or if I still am not a big fan of it. Let's go through some stuff I know I'm going to keep, um, starting with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So I have three. I have the Butter Donut, which again made it into my 2021 favorites. I love this bronzer. I've got the Butter Cookie Bronzer, which I don't use as much, but I do really like the shade. And then I have the Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronze, um, which I really like. I should get the OG one, but I'm going to keep this one for now too. Other bronzers that I'm obsessed with. Okay, the Iconic London Bronzer. It's just this really beautiful light shade bronzer looks really good uh, for fair skin tones good at warming up the face this is in the shade light bronze in case anybody's interested um i have two laguna bronzers so i've got a mini one that came in a birthday gift from sephora and then i've got the full size one i'm going to keep the full size one because i've used it a ton and i'm going to be getting rid of the mini one which is yet unused and I don't really like these mini bronzers just because I have a hard time getting my big bronzing brush in them. So I'm going to be doing the same for this Bare Minerals bronzer. Uh, it's a nice shade. It really is. But, uh, ooh, I was going to say it's unused, but now I've stuck my finger right into it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of this one. And I'm also going to get rid of the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer. There's nothing wrong with this bronzer. Um, I've decluttered it in the past though, and I just, I don't know, I have enough bronzers, I just don't think I need that one too. Um, alright, definitely going to be keeping my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is my, one of my favorite bronzers, is the matte one. For a really long time I didn't think I could use these chocolate ones. When I thought I was allergic to chocolate, then it turns out I was just an idiot for half my life. I've got this Too Faced Sweetie Pie bronzer. Again, I'm going to be holding on to this. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. It came out a while ago with like when they put out like their peach uh, collection. And I've got this Too Faced uh, like duo glow. What is this called? 
uh, Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer in Sweet Tea. I'm going to hold on to that one. I have two Kylie Cosmetic Bronzers. Um, I don't know if I need both. I've got Tequila Tan and Toasty. So this is what these look like right here. I'm just going to check. So I think I prefer... Do I even like either of them anymore? Yeah, they do blend out actually really nicely. Um, I'm going to keep both of them. I didn't think I would, but I'm going to hold on to both. Then I have this Hourglass uh, bronzing powder. This is in Luminous Bronze Light. I'm going to hold on to this one. And I also have an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. I'm going to keep that as well. I've got my Natasha Denona All Over Glow Powder. And this is a face and body shimmer powder. But this one is in the shade medium, O2 medium. Um, and I do find that it does work as a really, really pretty, like shimmery, very shimmery bronzer for me. Um, but it blends out really, really pretty. So I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep my Maybelline City bronzer. This is in the shade 200. I'm going to keep my Becca bronzer in the shade Bali Sands. Again, a really nice light bronzer for us fair girls. I've got this MAC bronzer in Beijing Beauty, same thing, I'm going to keep it. I'm really drawn towards these sort of bronzers where they have more of a brown undertone as opposed to an orange undertone. Although speaking of kind of orange undertones, I have this MAC bronzer, which is in matte bronze, I believe. This is one of my OG favorite. I keep sticking my finger in like all of these products. It's one of my favorite OG like bronzers. Um, even though it looks super orange, it does come out really, really nicely. What was this though? Because that is starting to look real orange. That was the NARS one, which we got rid of anyway. So that's good. And the only other one I have is my The Bomb Bahama Mama. It is really pretty. I'm going to keep that as well. Look at that. I didn't get rid of any. Oh no, that's not true. I did. Not very many though. I have a couple of these MAC powders. I feel like one's missing. There it is under my leg. So they're sort of powder foundations, um, which I don't wear a lot. I have a next to nothing powder, which I'm going to keep. I do really like this formula. I don't know if they make it anymore. I've got the OG Studio Fix powder. Again, I really like that. And then I have this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus. This is really, really good when I overdo my bronzer to just kind of even everything out. Then I have my Shape Tape Glow Powder from Tarte, which is brand new to me or fairly new over the last couple months. Love that. And also this Guerlain Terracotta Nude. Um, this is like an all over the face shimmery thing. It is really pretty. I hate the smell of it. I think that's just Guerlain project, products in general. Um, do I want this? You know what? It was really expensive, but I just don't see myself wearing that. Like, it's very dark for an all-over-the-face powder. I'm going to get rid of this. I can't believe that, but that's going to go. Good job, Sam. Way to, you know, not just look at price tag when you're looking at stuff. Let's get into my foundations now, just because they're all sitting next to me, um, staring at me. I'm going to go through these really quickly. Um, first things first, we're going to keep all of our MAC face and body, uh, foundations. I have three shades. I have N1, N3, and N5, depending on how tan I am, and I can mix them all together to make custom shades. This is my favorite foundation. It goes on so nicely. It doesn't cling to pores or hairs. It can be built up or really, really thinned out, depending on what kind of coverage you're looking at. These are fantastic. I don't know that you can get the large one in store, but you can online. I think in store they just sell the smaller one. So you can always try out the smaller one, see if you enjoy it before really getting into the larger ones. But I'm keeping that. What else do I use all the time? Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Foundation. I use this constantly. It's one of my favorites. My uh, Urban Decay Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I'm going to keep this. These were both in my 2021 favorites. I really like the Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation. This is really, really good. It's a little dark for me right now. This is in the shade Cream Camoa, but uh, it might work for me. I'm tanning right now, getting ready for my wedding, uh, which I know sounds crazy because my wedding is like 150 days away, but I figure if I can get a good base, then I won't burn closer to. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I have this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I think that this shade is just too dark for me now. I do really like it though, and it's almost used up, so I don't know if there's a point in me giving this to someone else. 
I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it for now and we'll just see if I use it. Same thing with my clean, fresh skin milk from CoverGirl. I really like this. I think this is too dark for me, but I'll hold on to it for now. This is not a foundation. This is a tinted glow booster from NARS, and I love this so much. Same with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Hollywood whatever. Uh, another like tint for your face, as is this iconic London tint. And I have this... Uh, Huda Beauty Glowish multi dew Skin Tint. It is really pretty. I got a shade that is definitely too dark for me, but again, I can sort of put this on ahead of foundation or customize it with my MAC foundation and it tends to work all right. I've got this NYX Born to Glow and the reason I kind of want to keep it is because the color looks really good for me and I can't remember if I like it or not. So I'm going to keep this and see if I get any use out of it. I think I'm going to get rid of the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, there's a couple things I I don't like about this. One, the shade is way, way, way too dark for me and it's kind of pulling a little bit orange if you ask me. Also, I'm not a big fan of the bottle because it just has like an open top to it, which makes it very hard to control getting product out. I would prefer a pump or a squeezy tube or a squeezy bottle. Um, so I am going to get rid of this one. I think I'm also going to get rid of the Marcel Flawless Luminize one. Uh, I never reach for this. I think it was good foundation when I used to try it, but it's been a long time and I have a lot of others that I want to get through. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm really torn about my Urban Decay Stay Naked because I know I really like this foundation, but it is really dark. Just went everywhere. Like that is just so, so dark for me. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Um, if only because, you know, like, that, that's so dark and so orangey and it's not going to blur out at all. Um, I'm going to get rid of it and if I decide to, I will repurchase it in the future. But honestly, I have my other Urban Decay foundation, which is that Hydromaniac one, which I think that I prefer. So I'm just trying to get a makeup wipe out and sort of clean up uh, my hands. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to get rid of that Stay Naked one. I don't know that I have any friends that that shade would work for, to be honest. Most of... Uh, my close friends that wear makeup are fair like I am or fairer, as in Megan is more fair than I am, um, but we'll see. So I have two foundations, three foundations left. So first I have this Tarte C Hydroflex in light beige. This is pretty new to me. I'm going to keep that. I have my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I'm going to hold on to that and I'm going to hold on to my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation as well. I don't know that the shade would work for me, but... Uh, until I know for a fact it doesn't, I really want to keep it because it's really expensive.